What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to do another crypto review of a new gaming project that in my opinion has a lot of potential. This is Castle of Blackwater. It's a game that just launched through a pre-sale on uh, CDFi just a few days ago. I think on the 29th of March, so depending on when you're watching this video, just a few days ago. It seems very promising, so we're going to discuss it. Full disclosure, as always, I don't hold this project. I have no interest whatsoever in manipulating the price of this project. I am not paid to review this project. I've just heard that you guys wanted to see a review of this, and um, it seems very interesting, so that's why I decided to do so. So it's just going to be an unbiased review once again. So without any further ado, let's actually get started. Castle of Blackwater. It launched on the 29th of March and uh, the pre-sale through CDFi, I think they were up to a 10x or something up, decent profit, definitely a good return on your investment for uh, if you participated to the IDO. And uh, as you can obviously expect, there was a sell-off at the start. So the people that participated to the pre-sale dumped their token already because they were on profits. And this is why I always discourage you guys from buying when uh, a project is launched to FOMO at the launch of a project because you're going to become the exit liquidity of the pre-sale investor. Very simple factor that a lot of people still don't understand. In fact, if you see right here, you can actually see how much the project was able to generate for the pre-sale investors. And then, of course, the project goes to an all-time low. And this actually looks like a very, very highly coveted accumulation zone and definitely a good entry because you guys know it's always going to get worse before it gets better. After a pre-sale, it gonna go, it's going to go to an all-time low and this is the moment in which you need to enter. But of course, this is not financial advice just you know do your own research after watching this video and if you like it maybe you can get some that's all that i gotta say about it so the exchange listing situation it's not bad for a project that just launched it's listed on maxi on gate.io uniswap when it comes to decentralized exchanges and also worth mentioning this is a project on beam and beam is one of the best gaming ecosystems out there it's one of the most promising and most shield on youtube gaming ecosystem so definitely something to be on the lookout for and definitely something that makes me bullish but let's talk about the game real quick so if you guys are familiar with with Among Us and uh, the success that Among Us was and uh, still is, I guess. This is a social deduction game as I think it's called like that. I mean, I also see it written as here. It's a game in which it basically pays off to betray the other players in the lobby. I'm going to show you actually a bit of the gameplay that I saw right here. So it's completely 2D and it's social deduction with a magical twist as it's described. 15 players in a lobby. You're going to be trapped into this castle and uh, you're going to have a mission in which you need to escape this castle. It's going to pay off to betray the people and the ones that are going to deceive other players are actually going to be successful into winning this game every player has a role and uh, i think that every role has a different play style special powers and uh, different abilities and uh, there's also like several puzzles which makes it interesting i guess if you're a player of the genre so that's pretty much that a game that encourages you to trick other players and uh, to actually deceive the truth evil tricks to actually win the game and not only it has those big partners and uh, it's on Beam, etc., etc. This is available on multiple platforms. This is huge. Steam, Epic Games, Elixir Launcher. It's also got a mobile version. So download it on the Apple App Store and on Google Play Store. This is actually quite good. And, you know, I think that the graphic is very recognizable. As soon as I looked into this, I was like, wow, this is clearly relying on Among Us, which doesn't mean that this is just a copycat or a knockoff. It's far from it. Like, we know, we actually know that when it comes to Web3 gaming, the games that, um, the games that actually take inspiration for uh, the Web2 counterpart tend to be very successful. We can see the same things with a project like Shrapnel copying Call of Duty or a Blood Loop copying Valorant. You know, these things actually make sense. And by the way, guys, the beta is already available, so you can try for yourself and see if you like it. The game specifications are extremely uh, small if you want to play this game, because, of course, this is just a 2D game that is not going to require a lot of GPU power, etc. And it seems colorful, it seems fun. This is actually something that I wouldn't mind playing myself if I was a gamer. There's definitely a big lore behind the project. This is absolutely something that I like to see, because uh, it creates community and uh, it actually makes it interesting 
interesting for the gamers. And the project itself is not massive on X, which says a lot as well, because, you know, it's not hundreds of thousands of followers here on X. It's only 25K. So I think it has to say with how early you can still be considered for this project, even if you didn't participate to the pre-sale. The community seems quite active on social media as well. They are posting multiple posts on a daily basis. The engagement is big for uh, an account of the size, but it's not like super, super huge. So it definitely has to say with the fact that they're not paying for bots and uh, this is all completely organic marketing. Very good things to see. So the data on CoinMarketCap is not updated, but I was able to research a little bit and it seems like the market cap is only 3 million, which is very, very little. And in my opinion, again, signifies that you're very early to this project. However, there is a flag into this huh? and uh, the flag is the circulating supply. So definitely something that you need to consider if you're looking to make this a long-term play. You can see the vesting schedule of CryptoRent.io. This is always what I recommend you guys do before actually narrowing down your exit plan. The security supply right now is 8%, but if we look at one year from now, let's say it's going to be around 34. So if you make the calculations, this is around a 4x dilution one year from now. So is this the best choice that you can make for a long-term play? Probably not, but if you're looking to make a short to medium term trade and perhaps you take some of the profits, maybe you wait for the investors to dump their tokens and then you buy back lower, this could actually be considered a very good play. And at right below 3 million in market cap, actually crypto rank reports it at 2.74 million in market cap. I think that this could actually have a lot of potential. And I like the fact that this is on the Beam ecosystem because anything in the Beam ecosystem, in my opinion, is going to be huge. And I haven't seen Seen many games actually being released for the moment. Probably this could be one of the projects that would position yourself into the beam narrative and uh, perhaps up to 100x plus games. Who knows? I can definitely say that something that is 2 million in market cap can easily get our 100x games multiplier if it actually has a community behind it, if there's going to be a lot of hype, if all those big YouTubers are going to shill it, etc, etc. So in my opinion, this has a lot of potential. Am I going to make an entry? Perhaps. I think that this is actually a very good accumulation zone. On. Of course, you're going to see if I make an entry into this project by being into my private group. And I'm going to conclude this video like this by reminding you of my private group. This is the place to be if you're looking to make this 100x plus in crypto to discover this project before I even bring them to YouTube channel. You would have discovered this project before actually watching this YouTube video. The link is the first one down in the description. Also the QR that you see above my head and the benefits are listed now on the screen. And this is all the gains that I was able to generate with my Patreon community in the last four or five months in a full bear market so you can't even imagine what's there to come in a full bull market when the gaming altcoin season actually comes around so i hope to see you there and help you out with your crypto investing journey and until then take care for now